Frontiers report. Okay, it was a news because a report was being published by UNEP. I hope you have learned about UNEP. Also in current affairs, I gave, I, I taught you regarding United Nations Environment Program. Right? The main aim behind this report is to address the issue that is related to climate change, pollution, and loss of biodiversity. So three issues are being addressed which are lead, which are caused by climate change pollution and which are also responsible for causing biodiversity so first issue is the noise pollution okay Mo noise pollution second is the fire okay forest fire or wildfire whatever you say and third that we have is the Phenological shift, phenological shift. So now the case is, what do you understand by phenological shift? So phenological shift means shifting of different populations of species. Suppose there are species A, species B, species C, and species D. All these species are different from one another. Okay, they are having different, different characteristics. Now, because of climate change, because of global warming, suppose, because of global warming, the environment is supposed favorable for species A and B, but it's not favorable for species C and D. As a result, what will happen? As a result, population of A will increase, population of B will increase, population of C will decrease, population of D will decrease. In this way, based on different, different environmental conditions, if there is climate change, if there is pollution, if there is biodiversity loss, it creates the survival of some species to be more favorable on the other hand it leads to the survival it leads to the less favorable conditions for the survival of other conditions so we call these as a whole as phenological shift shifting of their population from one to the another so let me give you another example suppose there is biodiversity loss. How phenological shift is associated with biodiversity loss? If you see, loss of biodiversity can be because of different factors. One very important factor is the interference by human. Yes, human interference. People will cut down the trees. It will lead to deforestation. If there is deforestation, automatically there will be loss of biodiversity. If there is loss of biodiversity, then if you think it from the context of human population, there will be shifting of population, human population of human population will increase if there is more and more urbanization or loss of biodiversity. Am I right? On the other hand, think about from the perspective of other wild animals. Yes, who were inhabiting in the forest area. Think about the wild animals. What will happen? It will lead to the decrease in population. So some kind of shifting in population is taking place. And this is what the Frontiers report has mentioned. So noise pollution <coughs> is leading to a great disaster. You can see it's creating problems for different, different species. Wildfires or forest fires is creating problems to different species. Phenological shifts are happening because of climate change and other associated conditions. As I have said, this Frontier Report, it is released by UNEP. And therefore, whatever are these issues, all those environmental issues are negative, isn't it? Therefore, 
what is the suggestion of this report the frontiers report has suggested that whatever are the satellites remote sensing satellites that are present in india yes or all over the world those remote sensing satellites we should focus more on them why because those remote sensing satellites they can visit they can have a good observation of each and every area of our country including the remotest corner of our country right the remote sensing satellites so the, therefore if there is any forest is breaking if and there is any forest is breaking down sorry forest fire is breaking down then what can happen remote sensing satellites will clearly give out the images and it will lead to it will then people will definitely try to mitigate them ground based radars are also important lightning detection can lead to forest fire as well sometimes what can happen it can kill different kinds of animals like am i right i hope you have heard about some incidents regarding the death of elephants because of lightning isn't it so these kinds of incidents are very much common so all these things people should take care and this is all mentioned in the frontiers report and these are some of the suggestions